Okay, um, another one of those uh, useless free information video. If by any chance you find any useful information and you think it is worth it, please by all means, uh, as much as I would like you to send me some money, be nice and uh, buy a sandwich to the next homeless guy you will see on the street. If you think that it was worth three, four dollars, then please, by all means, it's good for your karma, it's good for my, instead of sending me money, which you will not do anyway, uh, just buy the next homeless guy something. Okay, let's start. Um, as you can see here, I have an object, but it is not an object. Um, that rendering did happen with zero painting in Photoshop. All the wear and tear is procedural. So far, so good, right? Um, that image did, uh, was created, sorry, I'm mixing German and English. That image was created with zero geometry. I did not import any geometry in Substance Designer. And um, I did not have any UV whatsoever on my geometry. It's completely UV-less. But as you can see, after defining the look on the left side, I was able to reapply exactly the same look on the right side, which displayed the, the back of the object. So what tool am I using? For that, I'm using a very magical tool, which is called Substance Designer. Substance Designer is a procedural texturing tool that you can use to texture almost everything that you can think about. Um, it's allowed me to do all my work uh, for texturing. And um, today I come with some idea that I did have in the back of my head and it's like I need to try to see if it's still up. Basically what I did, I did uh, I did uh, divert the intent and purpose of Substance Designer and instead of trying to texture a 3D model, I did texture a flat image, which sounds kind of weird, but when I will be uh, showing you what exactly I'm doing, you will understand. Okay, especially since my French accent is not very helping anyway. Okay, let's move into Substance Designer. For the people that know Substance Designer, uh, viewport, node, right? Nothing crazy, I did spend 20 minutes on it nothing very out of the ordinary super basic layout and node for the people that don't know substance designer please by all means do not be scared of those node since um, it's very easy to use and uh, trust me i'm not the most organized person in the world and still i manage to keep my graph more or less clean okay what are we looking at at all uh we are looking at first at the input the, I did bring only three image in Substance Designer. I did bring a ID map. I did bring a rendering, a flat rendering of my geometry in Maya with a normal and an ambient occlusion. So what do I get out of Substance Designer? Out of Substance Designer, using a procedural workflow in a physically based rendering workflow, I get Again, we are looking roughly right now just at the diffuse, right? I'm creating all my material that are lay out on top of each other. You can see chrome, the skin, I add the skin, I add the eyes, I add the hoses, and so on and so on until we come to the dirt, some dirt, more dirt, and the final rendering. So, and if we look at it in a tree view, that's what we get. Because I am rendering it on a cube. It's just my images assigned on a cube. Nothing different. So, um, the next interesting thing is that being a rendering with a normal map, I can change the lighting. And as you can see, it's working nicely. And I can also go into the viewport and just rotate my rendering my IBL and you can see that the light is nicely shifting across my rendering. So now why substance? Why do I use big work like look Dave workflow? Ooh. Well the idea is that um, since I have all my material nicely separated from each other through the mask here, right? The mask is here, I don't need to separate everything. Since uh, I have a nice curvature map that I did derivate from my a normal map, create a curvature, it's allow me to create uh, all those parametric effect. Here as you can see we are contrast and maybe uh, less and maybe more grunge. Yeah. Now if we look in 3D view, 
that's what we are looking at and if you want more grunge you get more grunge right let's say your art director want more more wear and tear on the on the body so so far so good right um let's go back to the final one with the dirt same story if you need more dirt or less dirt you can just add more and if we look in 3d that's what it's look like so obviously it's a little bit too more too much and i should have done a mask uh, just for the pilot but uh, let's take the grunge amount down a little bit less dirt mm, yeah so look dave well basically not like dave look i mean a uh, look development uh, i don't know anyone called dave anyway uh, so. um here the idea is that if my art director comments but i told you that i wanted the tank to be orange i'm like sir you wanted the tank orange what do i care you get an orange tank oh yeah oh. for matter i need just to change my my color a little bit so here and uh, here poof poof we wait a little bit we let it cook and update so and he's like well actually i changed my mind you know it's happened a lot with our director and they wanted uh, to go back into the green then let's go back into the greens instead of letting everything cook i can probably just uh, just for the sake of changing the look i can just reassign it here then do my change here and take it back on the final on the final node again going back to here and reassign the final node so so far so good um i can also change my lighting on the fly again no problem everything is working nicely First carriage, I like this one. Uh, let's go here. Can I rotate until I get something I like. Exposure a little bit more, or a little bit less. More, less, more, more, whatever. And the next step will be to show you actually what I didn't mean before with the advantage of substance, right? It's like this zero uv on my geometry if i would have painted that in photoshop with some texture you know like uh, texture put over and different transfer mode it would have been nice and dandy for that view but then i would have to redo everything again on the other side so what i would be doing now is i will just change the input that i have here those three little stupid images that come from maya i will just change the back to the normal back normal here the back material selector here and the back out here and i will make sure that my ao is cooking here the blend is not here it's nice clean this one is not that's interesting 248 248 248 248 this one is at zero that's where the problem is so so it seemed that Camtasia is uh, bugging a little bit with substance anyway uh, if we look in 3d as you can see we get for free the back side and same story i can change the lighting can rearrange whatever i want and just make it work uh, let's see if it's really uh, substance or if it is camtasia that is a prime i guess it is camtasia that is hugging all my resource uh, let's change the front ao and see if the the back is happening you can see it here you see it back here uh, the front selection of the material it's still cooking okay and the last one will be the front normal and i guess this one is the one that is a problem for some no actually it's happening and you see the cooking happening in real time as you can see it's very very quick and uh, very useful to walk this way so now i guess i will be done with this very short video 
um, why I did not put it on Game Road. Like some people did mention to me, I should put my video for monetary gain on Game Road and make some money. Now the idea is um, I like to share knowledge because I like to learn from other people and uh, I like to share the little bit of knowledge that I have. Anyway, uh, I hope you did enjoy this video and that it was uh, interesting for you. And uh, I'm looking forward to see um, how you guys uh, will grab this workflow and develop more on top of it and see what little merve you will come with. I appreciate your time. Bye.